And now we'd like to move on to the uh, main focus of our presentation, which we've been talking about this entire time. It's Dmitry Serov, who's the Director, CEO, and President of American Airs, Inc. And Dmitry Serov is responsible for the day-to-day -day operating activities that include overseas manufacturing, marketing, sales, and distribution. Dmitry holds a diploma from St. Petersburg's College of Economics and Business Management, which he obtained in 2003. Mr. Serov has held various sales and executive management positions in the automotive sector with BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Audi. And Dimitri's involvement with the technology has been instrumental in facilitating the adaption of the original AIRS technology into its current consumer-oriented form. And I know we're going to be starting with a video here today, Dimitri, but I'd like to bring you on uh, just to say a quick hello and to introduce yourself. Thank you, Neil. Hello, everyone. My name is Dimitri, and I would like to walk you through our presentation today. I'll tell you everything about our company, the technology we have created, and what we are going to do with it going forward. If I ask you how much more radiation does penetrate your body today compared to like 10 years ago, is it twice as much, three times as much? No, it's a quintillion times more. That's a one with 18 zeros. In France, they had some of the first adopters of Wi-Fi. Now they're recognizing that the Wi-Fi is potentially harmful to school children, so they're getting rid of it in elementary schools. Could where you carry your cell phone make you sick? Radio frequency emissions from the school's strong wireless network has triggered headaches, nosebleeds, and nausea. Smart meters are replacing the analog meters on your home. Some say such meters are making them sick. Nobody has taken into account the cumulative radiation that we are all getting, especially children. Had there been pre-market testing, cell phones never would have made it into the marketplace. The, the manufacturers actually tell people in the instruction manual, which I never read, not to put the cell phone against your ear. Radio frequency radiation are in fact cancer causing and are perhaps a cause of neurological diseases and cognitive problems and developmental problems in children. The wireless industry spends $100 million a year lobbying the Congress. So it's really hard to go up against the power of this industry, even when you have the facts on your side. We urgently need more research. We have almost no U.S. funded research in this area. Scientists decided it was time to counter the industry claims that there is no evidence. Good evening. The World Health Organization today said cell phones are possibly carcinogenic. It puts it in the company of several other kinds of things like lead as well as engine exhaust and chloroform. So uh, this video was just um, a short, a very, very short introduction to the, 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 the problems that we're all facing with our, our day use of electromagnetic radiation emitting devices. Uh, this, this video just shows you the tip of an iceberg and it's really became a very, very big concern uh, with the current technology. And uh, they only discuss uh, the current LT, which is the fourth generation telecommunication technology. Uh, with the 5G rollout, uh, the overall exposure to radio frequency uh, uh, energy and the radio frequency electromagnetic field will be up to 1,000% higher once uh, the 5G will be deployed completely. So um, our company has developed a unique technology that is able to completely reduce basically cancel out the negative effects of electromagnetic radiation. Uh, the way this technology works uh, is not in a way of blocking the electromagnetic radiation or the electromagnetic field. It actually designed to restructurize the electromagnetic field and match it with our baseline uh, electromagnetic field emitted by our body cells. The technology was developed, um, it, it took our company uh, over a decade to develop this technology and originally it was not designed for consumer application. Uh, my family, uh, they own a new medical technology foundation and this uh, technology was designed originally for military application for air defense personnel. 
uh, for mobile radar stations. Uh, it was, we have developed, my family has developed a method that is able to, to modify the electromagnetic fields. And it was never designed to go into direct to consumer products. And um, in 2001, I came to this beautiful country and uh, so far I'm really loving it here. And uh, in 2012, I decided to um, take it and uh, bring it over here because uh, it, uh, it, 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 was, uh, it was too long until it would actually make its way to, to the military. So uh, my father um, agreed and uh, we moved everything to Canada and we rolled everything into this company called American Ares. So now what we did, we took this uh, technology and we wrapped it into a direct-to-consumer application and we have developed a product lineup that is designed to protect people from electromagnetic radiation uh, for personal uh, communication devices such as your cell phone, Wi-Fi router, baby monitor, uh, laptop, computers, monitors, uh, and basically all consumer electronic devices. Uh, Jordan, next slide, please. Um, in 2011, uh, World Health Organization has classified radio frequency electromagnetic fields as possibly cancerogenic to human. Uh, they put it in a group B cancerogen. Uh, just so you know, uh, group B cancerogen is exactly the same as tobacco, mold, um, engine exhaust, asbestos, uh, just to name a few. So um, this uh, resolution 208, uh, it's only related to the current um, telecommunication technology, the 4G, and once the 5G will be deployed, that's going to be a next uh, level problem. So um, as I mentioned, uh, the technology was in development over 10 years, and uh, we have invested over $20 million uh, into developing the tech. We uh, now have uh, a product lineup that's designed, as I mentioned, for all categories of our devices that we use uh, daily. Um, we are going to roll out a new product lineup, uh, hopefully next month, by the end of July, it will be deployed uh, and will be offered worldwide. Uh, these uh, products uh, were specifically uh, designed for 5G. So uh, the new product lineup that we are launching, uh, 5G specific, uh, will also have a very high, high margin, uh, uh, over 80% uh, margins. Uh, when they offer direct to consumer. So uh, we do sell uh, our products right now worldwide. We have orders without any advertising campaign. I mean, none, zero, coming from Brunei, from Singapore, from Kuala Lumpur, from Saudi Arabia. Uh, sometimes I get orders and I don't understand even how we got them and we keep on getting them without ever doing any marketing or any advertising in these areas. Um, we mainly uh, do some uh, soft search optimizations and some tiny little marketing for now uh, in US and Canada, but uh, based on the situation and the, the, ex the exposures and the awareness that is growing, uh, somehow our products are uh, being shipped to these countries that are very far away from here. And um, in uh, November uh, 2019, uh, we uh, have uh, completed our IPO. Uh, we have successfully raised uh, $7.5 million, which was uh, the maximum. Uh, and um, we started to uh, create our infrastructure, which uh, I will uh, uh, talk about in a few minutes. Uh, Jordan, please put next slide. Uh, here are just uh, a few examples. Uh, we could have hundreds, maybe thousands of examples like this. Uh, we just put the tree. Uh, all these organizations are screaming that the negative effects of electromagnetic radiation could cause a significant adverse effects on our health. Um, here is an example from a Forbes article, the Huffington Post and the World Health Organization. Next slide, please. So, um, Again, uh, to uh, sum up what I already said, uh, the solution uh, is uh, we have um, 11 patents 
uh, we have 14 patents pending for this technology and the products. We have a unique uh, manufacturing uh, process uh, and uh, we have actually created a technology how to manufacture these uh, microprocessors and we'll talk about it later, but they're being manufactured in uh, two or three best uh, semiconductor manufacturers in the world. Um, the manufacturing is scalable, so um, the companies that uh, make the, the semiconductors for us, they're capable of producing 100,000 silicon chips per shift. So uh, we would never have a situation where we cannot supply, it's just impossible. Um, there are uh, many trademarks pending, and uh, we have conducted a lot of uh, scientifically significant research. Um, we'll show you a few examples here, but all this uh, uh, research published on our website, we have uh, significant scientifically research uh, that was peer reviewed and published in academic journals in many countries. Uh, and all these articles and publications and peer review research papers and on other research papers are available right now to be downloaded from our website. You could uh, easily uh, look them up and uh, read either the entire thing or just the, the conclusion. Next slide, please. So uh, currently with our current product lineup uh, designed mainly for uh, LTE for the current uh, technology uh, we we have approximately three hundred dollars of average online uh, order so when someone goes and buys our products they never buy one unit it never happens people buy different uh, multiple units for the entire family for the multiple devices that they're used so the average online uh, sales, uh, they're sitting right now at 292. Uh, actually, these numbers are from 2019 and they were significantly, significantly higher uh, starting uh, this year and they're growing. Uh, value of repeat customers, $800. Value of average customers, uh, same, about 292. 40% uh, of the revenues are from uh, uh, repeat customers. And uh, rolling out the new 5G uh, design products, uh, the margins will be over 80%, coming uh, hopefully by the end of July. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, what we have done uh, so far uh, since November, uh, we have created um, a centralized uh, e-commerce um, infrastructure. Uh, we basically have no employees in the company. Uh, there are just a few people that are uh, being deployed, but it's all uh, technology based. Uh, we have um, our smart warehouses. Uh, we have our uh, specifically designed, custom designed CRM uh, for inventory management, for customer service, for accounting, for uh, all the, the inventory and the logistics. Everything happens automatically as we speak, orders come in. Uh, it doesn't matter where they're coming from, they will be picked up by the uh, distribution center, uh, which uh, we uh, have partnered up with, and uh, we will open new markets going forward, and they will uh, ship uh, the product. Uh, it will automatically move into um, our CRM. Customers will be notified, uh, and basically there is nothing we need to do. There are no people monitoring this process at all. It's very scalable. Uh, Right now, we have created a system that is able to um, handle 10,000 orders a day. So we are not there yet, not even close, but we will get there. And once it's there, there is nothing else we need to do. It's already able to han handle such, uh, such numbers automatically. And uh, we will just uh, open up new smart fulfillment centers uh, in different regions uh, as we open up new markets. Um, next slide, please. So um, as I mentioned before, we uh, almost didn't do any marketing uh, in order to sell our products. Uh, we were focused on developing the infrastructure and uh, all the IT solutions, and we were working on the new 5G, uh, specifically designed 5G products. And uh, what we did with the current product lineup that, that we have right now, uh, we did some, some marketing uh, very light uh, in uh, uh, 
and some search engine optimization. Uh, what we will do next, once we have the new product here in, in end of uh, July, we will start uh, the marketing campaign. Uh, it will be a, a serious marketing campaign, uh, which, which will uh, take these uh, products uh, virally. Um, we also opening up a U.S. distribution. Uh, so uh, right now, um, the main fulfillment center, which uh, able to sell product worldwide, it, there is no limits. But it's in Canada. Uh, we opening up uh, a, a company. Uh, we partner up with a company in the USA, and they will uh, handle our U.S. fulfillment. That would uh, help the U.S. market a lot because people will. Uh, buy with more confidence that they don't need to cross the, the product doesn't cross the border it will be delivered within uh, two to three days uh, they don't need to pay uh, levies and uh, duties uh, on, on the product easy returns if they ever want to uh, so the product will be distributed from uh, chicago uh, for now and then we're gonna add uh, west coast uh, fulfillment as well um, of course that's going to start with the new product lineup um, once that is in place, um, by uh, fall, just before Christmas time, we will start the celebrity endorsement and the uh, influencers marketing campaign, uh, micro influencers and macro influencers. And uh, finally, by the end of uh, 2020, beginning 2021, uh, we're looking to, 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 to split the business, uh, these direct to consumer products will be uh, running on autopilot basically it's just a function of marketing but what we really are doing and looks like it could happen a lot sooner than we thought it will we are able to take the technology and integrate it into enterprise companies um, just an example uh, we could easily take our microprocessors and put them in any existing electronic devices so think about a uh, Dell computer for example it could easily be there uh, just you know straight from the box uh, by default uh, it would absolutely not uh, hurt our direct-to-consumer market it would only complement it and vice versa so the idea is to to run global worldwide uh, sales of direct-to-consumer products that protect people from electromagnetic radiation and also supply technology to uh, enterprise level companies uh, and as I mentioned uh, we uh, were planning to do that uh, by the end of 2020 beginning of 2021 but uh, things are uh, actually moving faster in this uh, matter and we could have something sooner um, we are working on a few things right now uh, next slide please um, again uh, just uh, to, to, to add uh, one more important component so when I mentioned that we will um, uh, go fully into US market uh, with US uh, distribution uh, and the marketing campaign um, we also partner up with uh, uh, can you put please uh, next uh, Jordan next slide with a company uh, called Channel Advisor, and uh, we right now are setting up all uh, these accounts that you see on the slide on the right, Amazon.com. Uh, we are talking about American Amazon, not Canadian. Amer Amazon.com, Sears.com, eBay.com, uh, Walmart, Best Buy.com, Newegg.com. So we will have our product on all these platforms. Uh, and it will be managed by one dashboard through channel advisor and all of this will be connected to our uh, crm and through our fulfillment channels so uh, again there are no people involved we uh, uh, don't uh, hire a army of workers here it's 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 done uh, uh, in, in, in the most efficient way uh, there's almost no overhead uh, for, for the company uh, so we, we we probably will start this uh, again. Um, we could start now, but we're waiting for the 5G products to actually land. So um, again, beginning of end of July, beginning of August, all these platforms will offer our product in addition to our website. So our website will be a, a global self-served store that you could buy from any place on the planet and uh, the uh, uh, the specific 
marketplaces, there will be uh, featuring our products as well, uh, because there are people that, you know, they just more comfortable to buy from Amazon, or maybe they have an account with Best Buy, or it, it doesn't matter. These are marketplaces uh, in the US and our product will be there. Uh, and it's, uh, it's happening now. Uh, we would also um, have our products on similar marketplaces, but in uh, other markets in the European Union and Asia as well, but that's coming later um, by the end of 2021. So there are many, many, many uh, massive um, um, platforms and marketplaces, uh, electronic digital marketplaces, such as Amazon, uh, such as Best Buy, uh, in, in many other countries and many other markets, and uh, we, we will be present on all of them. And again, the website will be there as well, uh, and the consumer will have a choice whether to buy directly from our website, directly from the company, or from these um, marketplaces. <laughs> Next slide, please. Uh, this uh, slide is, uh, uh, is very important. Um, so if you, if you look at the market, of, uh, and I call it simple, I call it the market for protection for people from electromagnetic radiation, all kind of protection. Uh, it could be passive, active uh, devices or anything else, but the market is absolutely, uh, the numbers are astronomical. And I wanted to tell you that once the 5G deployed and it's active, stable, the Internet of Things will be born. Right now, there is no Internet of Things. It's just not possible to create an Internet of Things on a 2.8 gigahertz. We, we need a much uh, faster um, uh, network. And the 5G will actually open up the door to Internet of Things. So uh, by the 2025, which is around the corner, there will be 41 billion Internet of Things devices, 41 billion devices that are connected to the Internet. And you, you will have, now you have your Apple Watch, your cell phone, your computer, your tablet, but then once the Internet of Things will be born, everything will be connected. You're going to wear a jacket that is connected to the Internet, and it's happening 100% very soon. And all of these devices, once they're all connected to a 5G network, which, by the way, going from 2.8 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz, uh, they all will emit electromagnetic radiation. And this market for protection for electromagnetic radiation is absolutely untouched. I'm not aware of any adequate company out there anywhere in the world that has a technology-based product. There are some products out there that claiming protection from electromagnetic radiation, but these are all holistic approach products, homeopathic products. They sell mineral-based elements like crystals, rocks, a combination of uh, stones and metals, chemoline salt, and they may indeed work, but they're, they're not technology-based products. And uh, we, we have a, a technology that is... Uh, based on fundamental physics and the real um, components uh, that, 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 that solves the problem. And even if there will be uh, a thousand of companies similar to us, when you look at 41 billion devices that could potentially hold one of our products on them or in them, uh, even if you have 10,000 companies, we will not be able to, 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 to to supply it, it's just, it's, the, 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 this market is absolutely insane. And we just, in the perfect time, in the perfect place, the 5G deployment is happening. It's, it's, it's happened already. Uh, my friend sent me a, a screenshot from his cell phone today and he lives uh, 30 minutes away from downtown Toronto in the Richmond Hill. And uh, he, he already has a 5G on his uh, newest, new, new Samsung device. So, so it is here. Once it's stable, uh, a gazillion of other devices connected to the grid will be uh, coming to the market. So um, altogether, uh, the increased um, electromagnetic pollution, uh, the uh, extra devices that we're going to have, all of it together will, will have 1,000% more uh, electromagnetic radiation. 
and people, they want to be protected because technology is fantastic, is awesome, but we need to make sure that this technology is safe for us. And what's important to know that is not that if you're using your cell phone only, you could have some health issues uh, because of the exposure to electromagnetic radiation. The problem is the accumulative effects of the electromagnetic radiation. If you have only one cell phone and you only talk on it, uh, you know, two hours a day, uh, you probably need to live with it 500 years to have a problem. But because any radiation has an accumulative effect, all these devices that connected and emit electromagnetic radiation around us 24 seven, whether we sleep, work, they all the surrounding us. The problem is the accumulative effect of electromagnetic radiation. And we have a solution uh, that uh, solves the problem. Uh, Jordan, next slide, please. Next one. <laughs> and go ahead, one more. Uh, so I briefly will go over the technology. Uh, so uh, what we do, uh, we uh, manufacture um, a passive uh, microprocessors. A passive microprocessor is a microprocessor that doesn't require a power supply. It's actually being powered by the electromagnetic field of a device it is installed on. A very good example of a passive microchip is a chip inside your credit card or debit card. If you look in, on your credit card, you will see that you do have a chip. And obviously there are no batteries inside your credit card or there are no power line going into it. And every single time when you bring this chip into an NFC terminal, uh, it's being powered by the electromagnetic field of, of that, 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 that device emits. So same thing when you take uh, our microchip and, and you uh, install it uh, or put it on a source of electromagnetic field, that electromagnetic field is registered by the resonator antenna and that's the gold part. Uh, and when I say gold, I mean it. Uh, we use a, a special technology uh, to create a very conductive antenna um, it's called the gold erasion technology. We bombard uh, nano gold particles. We shoot them uh, on, on, on nickel par uh, metal uh, plate and we fuse uh, nano gold particles uh, with ordinary metal. And uh, therefore uh, we, we increase the, the connectivity uh, of this antenna. So the antenna registers the electromagnetic field and then it transfers the electromagnetic field when polarization builds up. Uh, on the surface of the silicon uh, monocrystalline wafer, silicon chip. Next uh, slide, please. Um, so um, what we have done, uh, it's better if you go one slide forward, so it's easier to understand. So you actually looking at actual pictures uh, taken by an electron microscope, not electronic microscope, electron microscope. And what you see, you see a, 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 a real image uh, of a circular diffraction lattice that is etched on the surface of a silicon chip. And the silicon chip in this example is, is 0 0.7 millimeter by 0 0.7 millimeters like a thumbnail. And on this surface, we are etched uh, up to 1.2 million circular resonators. One 0.2 million and the etching lines are within 0 0.2 nanometers uh, 0 0.2 a human hair thickness on average is 100 microns 100 nanometers these etchings on the semiconductor are 0 0.2 nanometers this is a real nanotechnology it's not marketing it's a nanotechnology and it's the best example uh, please go to the next slide uh, these are just uh, an approximate image. Why an approximate? Because we cannot draw uh, 1.2 million resonators and show you. You will only see black, black screen because it's impossible to, to, to show them. So these are just an examples of three different silicon diffraction lattice that we etch on the, on, the, on the surface of the silicon wafer. So this uh, special design, um, resonators are, are, are being etched on the surface of the microchip. And they trigger a, a so-called Fourier transformation where, where we are able to pull in the electromagnetic field of your device and start to 
force back a modified electromagnetic field, three-dimensional, and every product has its own range. And I will go uh, and talk about the range in a, in, in a few slides. Uh, but um, depends on the density of the uh, circular diffraction lattice, uh, we have different uh, different uh, range and different applications. And there is an atern antenna as well. Next slide, please. So uh, th these are um, our suppliers. So uh, for example, the current uh, products, the, 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 the product that we sell right now and the product that you have uh, as a sample, the microprocessors themselves are manufactured in Belgium uh, near Brussels by a company called OEM Semiconductor. Uh, they're trading on NASDAQ under CML OM. Uh, this company is the third largest, third largest semiconductor company in the world. The facility, the factory near Brussels, uh, it's a new factory and the cost to build this factory is over 1 billion euros. Uh, and they're manufacturing the current uh, uh, microprocessors for us. And the current technology uh, offers uh, um, resonators and the etchings is 0 0.4 nanometers. So uh, super dense, but not quite enough to handle the 5G. And the new, uh, and the new uh, 5G specific uh, uh, products, uh, we had to move the, 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 the semiconductor uh, manufacturer from European Union, which actually the product is entirely made in European Union and packaged and assembled in European Union and then shipped to our fulfillment centers. Uh, but uh, going forward, uh, 2020, we have to take the, the semiconductor manufacturing process to uh, Shanghai uh, because surprise, surprise, but Europeans and Americans, they are not able to etch 0.2 nanometers. They just can't, they don't have the technology. And um, this company called H. Grace, um, uh, they are actually uh, able and they are ready doing it for us. So the new product, the etching, will go from 0 0.4 uh, nanometers to 0 0.2 nanometers. That creates a, a, double de a much more significant density of the circle diffraction resonators. And uh, we are able to work with the 5G um, signal and the 5G um, electromagnetic field. Uh, but from there, it's called back to European Union and all the assembly happens automatically with no uh, hands touching the product. It's all uh, state-of-the-art assembly facility in Vilnius, Lithuania. Uh, it's a small Baltic country um, and uh, it, they're part of European Union and the product made in the EU uh, will be packaged in the EU as it is now and the final assembly happens in the EU and this is absolutely awesome because it opens up a market for us, uh, the European Union market, over uh, 500 million people, uh, we can sell the product there with no duties, taxes, 24 hours we can ship the product in any EU country and it's just uh, an amazing opportunity for us to, to offer uh, to assemble the product in European Union uh, for, for the reason I just mentioned. Uh, please, next slide. Uh, I already mentioned that we do have a lot of uh, uh, scientifically significant research papers confirming the effectiveness of the product. Uh, I don't want to talk a lot about it. Uh, you could uh, go on the website and see yourself. I just want to mention one thing which is important. During our IPO process, uh, most of these research papers were reviewed by Ontario Security Commission. They had to hire their own um, um, experts to actually validate the science. And uh, uh, after uh, we were receipted um, and uh, we, we, we wanted to, to do the, the, the IPO, uh, the bankers, uh, in, in our case, the Can Accord, uh, had to um, do their own due diligence as well. And they hired an expert uh, independent, uh, an expert from Berkeley University in California to provide an independent opinion on the research papers and the technology and they had to validate as well. And um, when the report came in, it satisfied uh, the committee, uh, six people out of six signed off the prospectus. Um, the research, the publications, the peer-reviewed studies are on the website. Next slide, please. Uh, these are just an examples uh, of our, uh, uh, yeah, go ahead, uh, uh, one more slide. 
Yes. So uh, now I just want to go over uh, the current product lineup that is being offered right now. So uh, we have uh, a chip that uh, designed for devices. Uh, it is um, um, a silicon chip that you install on your cell phone, baby monitor, Wi-Fi router, any small uh, device that emits electromagnetic radiation, uh, any uh, computer, tablet, um, and it would modify the electromagnetic field around this device with the, with, in the area. The effective range is up to two meters in diameter. Next slide, please. Uh, again, it works on cell phones, cordless phones, tablets, baby monitors, routers, laptops, uh, monitors, Bluetooth headsets, smart TVs, smart home devices. And you simply uh, install it on the device of choice. Next slide, please. The other product uh, called the Ares Defender Pro, um, it's uh, this device designed to protect you from surrounding electromagnetic pollution. Uh, for example, if you have installed uh, the Ares Shield Pro on your cell phone, your cell phone is uh, safe to use. You would not have any negative effects. Uh, uh, caused by the electromagnetic field of your phone. But uh, having it on your phone and, and, and you walk in, in a mall and then you have another thousand people around you that all having cell phones and you have Wi-Fi routers every 30, 50 meters, uh, they all emit electromagnetic field and you have the cell phone tower uh, somewhere by, uh, so you have this electromagnetic pollution. And uh, there are a lot of people that are EHS, EHS stands for electrohypersensitivity. EHS is a disease in European Union and many, many countries around the world. It is not a disease yet in Canada and US. Here, if you go to your doctor and you say that you're suffering from electromagnetic field, they're going to say that you are allergic to electromagnetic field. So you're not sick. You, can't, uh, you, you shouldn't be treated, but it's an allergy rather than a disease. So this device specifically designed for uh, people that are EHS, and just in US, uh, there are millions of people that are, are EHS, electrohypersensitive. And that's now, once the 5G will be deployed, um, will, be, will be tens of millions of people that would be affected by the electromagnetic radiation coming from the surroundings. Uh, next slide, please. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it is in the shape of a credit card. It has a range of five meters in diameter. You can simply put it on your, in your wallet, in your purse. You can carry it on your person. Uh, you can fly with it. You can go to work with it. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a device that, that's designed to protect you from the surrounding electromagnetic field. Next slide, please. Uh, Ares Guardian uh, is our uh, state-of-the-art uh, flagship product. Uh, we uh, have created it for an area protection. Uh, you can simply install it in your bedroom, in your kid's bedroom, on the wall like a thermostat. You can put it in your living room, in your kitchen. It has up to 500 square feet of coverage, and uh, it's, uh, it's a device that designed to protect an area, again, any area, including automobile. and uh, when we talk about cars, uh, specifically el uh, electric cars, and uh, we all know that very soon all the vehicles will be electric. Electric vehicles emit electromagnetic fields from, uh, uh, you know, from just an ordinary technology that they have inside cell phone, Wi-Fi, uh, GPS, uh, satellite radio, your cell phone inside it. But also the uh, electrical electric motors they, they they generate 150 kilowatt of power and uh, in, in many cases you have two of them and now they go up to 250 kilowatt. It's like having 100 microwaves working uh, together in your car. So you could uh, install this device inside your vehicle, um, basically like a 407 transporter on the windshield and problem solved. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, again, offices, automotives, uh, bedrooms, children's play areas, server rooms, and, and uh, just to name a few, 500 square feet is the effective range of this product. Uh, these all products are what we have right now. We have a replacement for all of them that are coming by the end of uh, July uh, uh, that are uh, 5G compatible. They will be uh, redesigned and modified. Uh, so. Um, Stay tuned, you will, uh, have, you will see them very soon. 
Uh, next slide. Um, next slide. So uh, again, as I mentioned, uh, the problem is uh, if you only be using your cell phone, you will be okay. Uh, but like any radiation, any radiation, it has an accumulative effect. Uh, I am not aware of any study anywhere in the world by uh, any government uh, uh, um, uh, uh, organizations or by cell phone manufacturers or by uh, cell phone providers that take into the account the cumulative effect. They simply take a cell phone, they uh, take a human, and then they basically measure the exposure levels and they, you know, count that this person will be only exposed to that one cell phone and that's it. Right now in this room, I have my computer that emits electromagnetic radiation. I have my cell phone, I have my Wi-Fi router, uh, I have my uh, other devices here. So it's the cumulative effect. And because we live in a digital world and now after the COVID, uh, it's actually gonna be digital as we see, uh, the things are not going back to normal. We, we're going to rely on technology uh, and I, I think it's gonna be a digital revolution. Uh, and now the 5G is being deployed. So the accumulative effects of electromagnetic radiation is a huge problem. Let's go next. Uh, cell phone manufacturers are of course aware of this, but um, as long as there is a warning label, they're okay. And every single cell phone, every single one has a warning label. And this is just an example uh, of an iPhone uh, uh, warning label and uh, Basically, unless someone show you where this label is, you will probably will not be able to find it. You need to click many, many, go to many, many places to dig for it. So you need to go to settings, then you need to go to general, then you need to go and scroll and find out legal, and then under legal, you need to go and scroll and found, find RF exposure and Many people don't even understand what RF is, but RF stands for radio frequency exposure. And uh, when you click on it, there is a disclaimer saying to reduce exposure to RF energy. Reduce, not to cancel, just to reduce. Use a hands-free option such as a built-in speakerphone or the supplied headphones or other similar accessories. Supplied headphones are wired. They are not supplying wireless headphones. They will never supply it and they never did. So when they're talking supplied uh, uh, headsets, they're talking about the wire. And uh, uh, speaking on the wire is a lot better than uh, uh, bringing the cell phone to your head. And there is a link. If you follow this link, it basically tells you, uh, gives you more information and says literally that even on a standby, you have to keep the distance from the device to your body of a minimum 1.5 centimeters. 1.5 centimeters away on a standby. So you can't even put your phone in your pocket. Uh, and again, this is just the cell phone. No one talks about the cumulative effects of all other devices around us. Let's go next. Uh, as I mentioned, a rollout of the 5G, uh, I, I quickly wanted to uh, explain a few things about 5G. Um, the current technology, LTE, a fourth generation telecommunication technology operates uh, on 2.8 gigahertz. 5G will go to 30 gigahertz. From 2.8, it goes to 30. But that's not the only issue here. Uh, 5G technology operates on millimeter waves. Uh, Current technology operates on centimeter waves. Now, uh, millimeter waves, uh, they don't penetrate solid objects very well and they don't travel far. So to solve the problems, uh, this problem, uh, we actually, not we, the, the telecommunication uh, companies, uh, they uh, put the transmitters, they must be not more than 400 feet away from the device. That means that you need to put transmitters in every street light and this is exactly what's happening with 4g you can put a cell phone tower on the field and 10 miles on a flat area will be covered so i can potentially be nine kilometers five seven ten kilometers away from a cell phone tower and i can still see signal of a 4g and then if i go further away i'm gonna get a 3g signal which travels further it's like am and fm 
With the 5G, it is not possible. We need to have these tiny transmitters going into a street lights and everywhere. So now, no matter where you're going to go, at the very worst case scenario, you are 400 feet away from a l large um, um, radiation source. And, and that's exactly what's going to happen. We're going to have electromagnetic field emitted by 30 gigahertz devices on a millimeter wave, and the, and, the, and the transmitters will be always, always super close to us. And 400 feet is the maximum. In reality, we're going to be within 100 feet, 50 feet, 20 feet to these devices, 24 seven all the time, no matter where we go and what we do. If you have 5G network on your cell phone or on your computer, that electromagnetic uh, field, the, the, the source of it is very, very close. But, from the technology point of view, it is amazing because you're going to have a much more stable, a much faster network, and that will allow the Internet of Things to come to a life. Uh, next page. Uh, again, we are summarizing here uh, uh, some of the things we already spoken about. Uh, so Group B Consergen uh, is the current LT technology. Once 5G will be deployed, they probably going to move it to Group A. Uh, and uh, there, there are many, many, many uh, potential risks uh, about the 5G deployment. Next slide, please. Uh, this slide talks about uh, the regulations. So uh, basically, <laughs> there is a thing called Safety Code 6. Um, uh, back in the 70s, the Canadian government decided how much exposure a human can get. So they looked at the radiation and they said, okay, you can uh, accumulate so many, uh, uh, so much electromagnetic fields a day, an hour, a year. And basically, they came up with this guide in 1970s. Since 1970s, we are in 2020, nothing was changed. We still relying on this poorly regulated uh, um, guidelines. So they obviously not adequate and I haven't heard of any uh, changes coming along. Uh, we're still running based on 1970s when no one ever could even dream about a cell phone, uh, never mind all other things that we have right now. Next slide, please. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time here. Uh, again, uh, peer-reviewed uh, studies are available and uh, uh, we have included a few quotes and a few examples in the presentation. I assume that all of you have uh, received a PowerPoint presentation and uh, if uh, uh, you want, you can uh, just uh, look there uh, or again, you are welcome to come to our website and uh, just uh, read uh, the whole thing or just the conclusions. Uh, sometimes it's easier to read the conclusion because it's short and it basically all answers all the questions. Uh, for those of you who are interested to learn uh, and to read in details, so you can read the entire publication. Uh, that's it for me today. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. Um, it was a uh, first time for me to, to, to run a, a webinar like this, uh, my very, very first one. And uh, I hope that uh, uh, you heard me loud and clear and uh, I'm uh, able to answer some of the questions. Uh, if any one of you uh, has any question, uh, uh, I'm here for the next uh, few minutes uh, uh, to, to, to answer. Um, Perfect. Neil? Thank you Neil. so much, Dimitri. Um, so we do have a couple of questions here if you're ready to go. Um, question mm -hmm. number one is, where do you stand right now compared to your competitors? And how do you expect to do the branding of a product that you can't really see if it's really working and need to trust the vendor? Okay, this is a great question. So uh, we are the first publicly traded company with an AMF protection product and technology in the world. Okay, there are no competition uh, in this matter. So if you're ever interested in investing into a company that has a technology and a product direct to consumer that is able to ship to every country, every city around the planet within days, we are the only one. There are no other, there are no alternatives. Right now, none, zero. That's related to, uh, to this. Uh, also, the other companies out there, uh, if you look simply from a consumer perspective, 
uh, looking to compare us, not as an investor, just as a consumer, you will find some other products out there, but they are all holistic. Uh, you see, if I have headache, I can go to uh, an organic store and, uh, you know, go to somewhere there and say, listen, I have headache. I don't want to you know, take pills. I just want something holistic, uh, homeopathic, and uh, they may offer me a tea uh, or something like that. And it may help, may not, uh, and I can drink the tea and maybe the headache going to go away. Or... I can go to nature's uh, to, to to shoppers drug mart and buy Advil. We offer technology. Other companies they are holistic based. They are not offering any technology. Uh, Ninety-nine percent of the products out there are holistic based. They based on homeopathic approach, mineral based elements. We have a technology based product based on scientific uh, on fundamental physics. Uh, how we are able to market something that people can see? Well, uh, there, there are many answers to that. First of all, a lot of people are able to feel the difference. You'd be surprised. If you look at and they read the FAQs on our website, any person that is somewhat, uh, I don't want to say allergic or EHS, but you know, have some sensitivity to electromagnetic field, they all feel the difference instantly. We have hundreds of testimonials where people tell us that they feel the difference and the thinking and the, all these all this FAQs are available online and they are all verified customers. We are not playing any games. These are all real reviews. You can read all of them. Some of them choose and pick. Also, uh, so people do feel the difference. But uh, even if we say that they don't, uh, we constantly buy things that we cannot see the results of them. You see, I've been uh, washing my hair with a shampoo that tells me on the box that uh, my hair gonna do this, my hair gonna do that, and like I don't see anything, but all my life I'm buying it. Same thing with, and this is just one example. Uh, they, there are millions of examples like that, that people buy things because, you know, they, they just, they just like what they what they hear, and they want a peace of mind. Or, but they don't actually physically see it or touch it. So um, yes, you are able to sell um, a product that um, you know, even if that person is absolutely not feeling anything, uh, we still uh, um, are able to market and uh, deliver the message, and be successfully. Uh, converting these people into a customer and we are able to sell them the product and then we are able to upsell them during the checkout process and then they're going to our funnel and we're able to bring them back many many times again and again and again so absolutely no problems here Perfect. Well, Dimitri, we've gone just over the hour. So what we're going to do, I'm seeing a ton of questions coming in through the Q&A. To all of you who have asked a question, what we're going to be doing is we'll be following up with you by email afterwards to answer your questions. So have no fear. The questions you've asked today will be answered. Um, we have one last one just before we go, though. Just uh, what about our animals, like our pets? Are they going to be exposed oh, to the same potential health, yeah. health issues? Yes. So uh, I, I, I didn't mention that. Uh, with the 5G products. We are also launching, and uh, this is in production right now. It's it's not the prototype. I I actually have it here in this office. Uh, but we, we we I just got a few uh, um, samples. But the, the product being manufactured right now and will be here very very soon. So what we done uh, when I started this business and I put the the product online. I remember the very first day when we offered this product. Um, we received an email from a lady from California and the product, I bought one for me, for my husband. Do you have something for pets? And I honestly, uh, I thought this, this lady, she is not 100%. So I replied to her, no, we don't. And that, that was it. Next morning, I wake up and there were another email. There was another email from a different client. Do we have something for pets? And these emails come, coming nonstop. People always ask us, do we have something for pets? So then we actually realize that there is demand. So we start to research the market and we figured out that, that, that there are billions of dollars to be made just on animals alone because people spend a lot more money on pets than on themselves, you know that. 
and uh, Apparently, when we did our research, animals are more vulnerable to electromagnetic field. And think about a New York apartment, a Manhattan apartment. Uh, there is the dog lives in a 800, 700 square feet a concrete uh, unit with two Wi-Fi routers and a few boosters and full of technology. And they have nowhere to go. They just stay in that room and they're lying somewhere in a corner or wherever the spot is. And they're being affected by electromagnetic field day in, day out. And we have created, uh, before creating the product, we did um, uh, a, a research. Uh, we did um, uh, basically a studies on uh, Vista rats. Uh, Vista rat, it's a rat species, uh, a mouse, a rat, that, that is uh, used by pharmaceutical companies to develop drugs. We have, we hired the lab in a university with the same rats and we have uh, done a significant research with the technology, uh, our technology on these uh, rats and the results were phenomenal. And we also did the same studies on honeybees as well with the technology applied. And uh, these reports are available on our website. Based on these research papers and the reports and the, what we have seen, we have created a product directly designed for pets. It's a chip that you install on your collar, whether you have a dog, cat, small, big one, any size, and this will be available in, uh, in the end uh, of July, uh, hopefully maybe first week, second week of August. Uh, um, if all good, uh, will be deployed as well. Uh, and this device is 5G compatible. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Dimitri, and thank you to everybody for attending. Uh, we have all these questions here, so we will be reaching out uh, with the answers to you. So thank you so much for uh, all the, uh, the questions that have come in. And thank you again, Dimitri, for, uh, for providing us with the presentation today. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, everyone. I don't see the people. Uh, I don't see you, but I want to thank all of you for, for being uh, here uh, listening to me. And uh, uh, I'm here to answer all the questions. So Neil, if some uh, people want to, to talk to me directly or um, you know, send me an email, I'm, I'm available for everybody. Perfect. Thanks, Dimitri.